guys, it's Felicia with Happily Ever After Living where I help women create and build their dream lives in a body that they love while on a budget that they can afford. So many of you have been following my 100 pound weight loss journey here on the channel. But in today's video, I want to share with you guys how I use credit card reward points to bring a little bit of luxury in my life. So today in my Instagram stories, I shared how we were able to use credit card reward points to book two night hotel stays and a rental car for one week, as well as cash in for a $200 Amazon gift card in order to buy items for our upcoming vacation. And I had a friend DM me and she was like, yo, listen, like I need a rental car for my upcoming vacation. Like, do you think you can help? Like, do you have any ideas, suggestions, whatever? Needless to say, turns out she had like 112,000 chase reward point. So yes, she was actually able to get her rental car for free for her upcoming trip and that is what sparked this video. So I am not a travel hack credit card user expert at all. Like there are plenty of resources on the internet for that. But for someone in my audience that has no idea about this, I wanted to bring it to you guys. Like it doesn't make sense to keep it a secret, okay? So. I also want to give a disclaimer that I do not carry a credit card balance. I pay my credit card balance every two weeks. I use my credit card the same way I would use it for cash. I don't use it as a loan. Well, I guess you kind of say that, but not really. But I don't use it as a loan. Like I use it as if it was my cash because I have a responsibility to pay that off every two weeks now the reason i say that is because if you guys saw my debt-free story i'll link it here there once was a time where i carried hundreds sometimes even thousands of dollars from month to month and i was paying a ridiculous amount of interest on that and in that case i was not winning because honestly i was probably paying more and interest than what like the hotel or the flights cost themselves. So today I'll be sharing with you guys how we've been able to book flights, hotels, all for free, rental cars for free. Um, free as in we don't pay money out of our pocket, we just use our, use our points. It's also the way that I am able to afford massages, facials, it's the way that I pay for all of those extra, extra things that people would probably use discretionary income for. But until we get there completely, I'm using credit card points. All right, so let's talk about it. First, I need to say, I use my credit card just like cash. So I use it to buy things that I would normally buy, like gas, groceries, um, you know, any utilities that do not charge a convenience fee. If they charge a convenience fee, like a 3% fee, 4%, I don't even bother with it. Like, it's not worth it to me. Um, but any utilities, like a cell phone bill or anything that you can pay without having a convenience fee, like, I would just pay it with my credit card. And now we also have big things like tuition as well. So we also pay for that with our credit card. Now, so what happens is the things that you buy with your credit card for, I'll just give a brief example. You may get anywhere between like one to six times, six times the points per dollar. So like, let's say if you buy something for $20, you may get 20 points. You may get 20 times six. You know what I mean? Like, does that make sense? Or some credit cards, they even use like percentages. So you may get... 3% of your purchase or 6% of your purchase. They all, it all depends. You've got to read, read all your fine print. Okay. Now next. Okay. So I think it may be a little bit more beneficial if I insert some pictures here and you guys can kind of get a better idea of what I'm talking about. So I'm going to grab my phone and then I'll put some pictures in, but I'll also probably be looking down at my phone a little bit because I want to be able to give you guys like specific examples. Okay, so first let's start with something that's most recent. If you guys saw my video where I posted my first Louis Vuitton bag, oh my gosh, I was so excited about that. See, I'm getting like excited talking about it now, but I'll link that video here. Okay, so the way that we purchased that bag, I have a Chase Sapphire Preferred credit card, right? When I signed up, I received 80,000 points, 
okay? So my husband, knowing that he was going to purchase this bag, he signed up using my referral link. I received an additional 15,000 points. He received 80,000 points because he opened a new account. Those 80,000 points were worth over $1,000 towards travel. I'll show you guys some stuff here. So those 80,000 points were worth a little over $1,000 using the Chase Rewards portal towards travel. Or with his points, we could have cashed those in and basically received like almost a thousand dollars like off of my bag through like the pay yourself back you know because you can like pay yourself back or get cash back so but instead we chose to use those points towards travel so first thing i'll share with you guys and keep in mind that i did blur out like the dates of travel and all of that because that's kind of freaky for people you never know who's watching the video right i'm making this for my friends but you guys never know who's watching the video so as you can see here this specific hotel stay if you look at the top, he had at this point 85,384 points. So we booked this hotel. And then if you look at the total amount of points that we redeemed at the bottom, so the trip total was $175.59 or 14,047 points. So we used 14,047 points to book this hotel. Now, I'll show you guys another hotel. So this one, I blurred the entire thing out because it tells the location of the hotel. But as you can see, the hotel cost, if you look at the bottom, so this is also for one night stay, um, the hotel was 27,932 points. And if you look at the top, he had a remaining 71,337 points. So you can kind of see how that works, right? Like either you pay the $349.15 or you can pay, use your points and pay 27,932. Okay, so I'll use another example. Oh, I'm sorry, let's go back to where I was gonna show you guys where here in this picture here, you can see where he had 85,000 384 points to start with but if you notice next to it in green it says that these points can be worth $1,067.30 when you redeem them like for different purchases or travel okay you can also see where you can use it like to pay yourself back for example just to kind of skip ahead a little bit my treadmill that you guys see like out in the garage when I'm doing my workout I use a credit card to purchased that treadmill and then I paid myself back so I received $1,000 back so I think the treadmill costed around $1,800 so technically I only paid $800 of my own dollars because I received $1,000 back I hope that makes sense all right so we'll go over to one more thing so this is a credit card this is my Hilton Honors credit card the points are different for each credit card the points are worth more with certain credit cards and they're worth a different value with another credit card. So for example, the I mentioned to you guys that we took our nieces and nephews out on a little vacation. So you can see here where we use reward points for, we use 50,000 points for one night. So that night was completely free. That's amazing, you know? Okay, and then we're going to flip over to our rental car for our upcoming vacation. And I didn't show all the details because it's very specific with dates and location and all of that. But you can see here that the car for one week costs $722.29. And you can see that I use a total of 57000 783 points so you can see the total amount that we paid was zero dollars so we're going to flip over to one more and you guys can see here this is my american express card where i currently have 237 dollars 90 of cash back available so i will actually be using some of this this weekend for a massage as well as a facial so basically my massage and facial is going to be free and I'll still have a few reward dollars left over. I hope this kind of gives you guys that are new um, a better idea of how 
um, credit card hacking, travel hacking, all the terms that are thrown around. But I hope this gives you a better idea of how it's actually done. I do also want to add that the more you get into it, the better things are when you're able to plan out your trips and kind of like knowing in advance what's coming. For example, whenever we have a big purchase coming up, such as tuition, new appliances, Louis Vuitton bag, <laughs> what we do is we open a new credit card. And so far, this has not affected our credit rating negatively. And usually you get the bulk of your points whenever you do, whenever you open a new card because they give like a nice fat sign on bonus. Usually it's like 100,000 points. Some of them are like 160,000 points. It just depends because again, each credit card is different. Another thing that I wanna add, like if all of this sounds like so overwhelming and it just kinda like sounds like a lot, you can also use your cashback points in a different way. For instance, before, like when we were still, I think we were like still like towards that tail end of like paying off debt and then also trying to build an emergency fund, like we would use our points to pay ourselves back for things like groceries, gas, kids activities, like club volleyball fees, or you know, like we would, things that were more, I mean, volleyball wasn't a necessity, but like groceries and gas, those things were kind of like necessities and we would just kind of like pay ourselves back. So like, let's say for instance, if you had $100 worth of rewards and you spent $110 at the store, then you pay yourself back $100 and basically it's like you paid $10, $10 for your groceries. So it all depends on how you look at it. And again, like I said, I am not an expert. I'm pretty good at it though. Let me just, let me not dim my light. I'm pretty good at this. I'm not an expert, but I'm pretty good at it. So if you have any questions, I would love to help you guys out down in the comment section. And again, I'm not an expert. Like there are a ton of videos here on YouTube. There are a ton of people over on Instagram, like, um, on Kara on Instagram. She's really good. She's always talking about how to travel hack. But again, if you have basic questions, I'll be more than happy to help you or I'll redirect you to someone that can. But I just wanted to come on today and share with you guys how I use credit card reward points to buy, like to upgrade my lifestyle a little bit. And again, I'm currently using it for things that people would probably use discretionary income for. You know, a lot of times you hear people talk about lifestyle creep. Well, I have no shame in saying that our income level is not at the level yet where I'm at the lifestyle that I want to be. Call it lifestyle creep or not, maybe it is. Actually, it probably is, but I know the lifestyle that I want. I know that I want to be able to travel freely. I know that I want monthly massages, monthly facials. Currently, I get monthly massages, but I'm not on monthly facials. Those are like once a quarter. Um, I know that I want to be able to travel more. So in order to do those things until we're able to have the income that supports it, I use credit card reward points because I'm not the girl that's going to say, no, I can't. I'm going to say, how can I? If this is how I can, this is how I can, this is how I can. All right, guys, that's all I have for this video. Again, if you have questions, feel free to leave them down below. And Michelle, thank you for inspiring this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.